All right, y'all, what up? We need to talk. But I got some shit I want to get off my chest about my first fight. More of my first altercation, the first time some shit popped off. Picture this, right? I'm in the seventh grade. I'm the same guy that I am now, just a little bit nicer to people, less sarcastic. I hadn't really developed that yet. I was a nice guy. It's a dumb thing to ever like say like, oh, I'm a good person, but I really was a good person. Shit like this is what changes that. The seventh grade, I'm just going through the motions of being the seventh grader, you know, nuts dropping, voice cracking, all of that shit. I didn't intend like piss people off i didn't go and like say rude shit to people when and then it was this guy who always fucked with me i got picked on a lot growing up like whenever i tell these stories the common denominator that you're gonna notice is that like chris gets picked on a lot on one side it builds character on the other side it pissed me the hell off i'm not gonna say glenn's name as i always do he had a particular fixation on me like i don't know what it was he he just stayed messing with me and i'm like dude like just you know i'm just chilling always you know made it a point to like say something about me or try and like talk about the clothes that i'm wearing or like just any and everything and like the thing was the nigga was gay i would like to preface what i'm about to say next i have no problem with gay people right my brother's gay he can suck as much dick as he wants that doesn't mean i'm gonna love him any less the problem that i do have is when you pop gum smack your teeth and then you try and say that i fuck men this one particular day glenn bitch ass nigga he was on it today like he woke up with a box of i'ma fuck with chrisio's we in gym right he throws a football at my head and to be fair nigga must have had his dad in this life because this nigga could throw this shit hurt hit the hell out of me threw the football boom i'm like what the fuck all right, i'm like all right they got one more time but this was the day i must have not been in the mood too because he throws the football one more time and then i calmly walk across the gym and everybody kind of see what's going on like you know when, like some shit is about to go down when a nigga walks with purpose and then slap the shit out of him i mean Every bit of my anger, anxiety, aggravation, and another A word, and then slap the dog shit out of this dude. Oh, it felt so good. Ha! Huh. Here's the thing. The dude had on an earring, right? Now, you know how, like, the, on the earring, you have the post of the earring? When I slapped him, I slapped the earring, too, just to let you know how much of his face I got. And then the post cut the back of his ear. By the time I got the end school suspension, everybody was saying, like, yo, he slapped this nigga Glenn so hard, blood came out. And I'm like, that is really overselling what actually happened. But I ain't mad at it. I slap him. He do that thing that niggas do when, like, like after I slapped him, this nigga sitting there like this. So then he get off the bleachers. I'm like, all right, it's about to be a fight. Fine, this is my first fight, right? I'm ready for this shit. Not really. I was terrified. The reason why I don't like getting into fights is because at the end of the day, there's a winner and there's a loser. No one talks shit about the winner. For some reason, everybody broke it up. I never really got my chance to fight him. Slapped the shit out of him, though. I felt good about myself. When I got home, my mom started yelling at me and stuff. And I'm like, mom, come on. And then she's like, why are you getting suspended? Because this is the first time I ever got suspended. I was a good kid. Like, this is the first time anything had ever happened to me right right so then i finally get suspended then i was like well plot twist ma he hit me first remember you always used to say if somebody hit you hit him back keep that same energy and she did i ain't really get in trouble i was just chilling after that shout out to red man car can you pay my rent can you buy me a drink can i wear your gold that's when i smack the shit out you i smack the shit out that's when i smack the shit out you i smack